Today on Timescast, Cairo's 11th day of protests ends quietly. And Helene Cooper reports on Washington's request for President Mubarak's immediate departure. This is Stephen Farrell from the New York Times in Cairo. I'm standing in the middle of Tahrir Square in central Cairo, where maybe 100,000 anti-government protesters have turned out in force. The mood is very peaceful. Inside the square, you wouldn't know there were pro-Mubarak, pro-government demonstrators outside it. But then those demonstrators are in much smaller numbers than the previous days, and they've been kept further back by the army. There was a brief moment of detention just after noon prayers. I was on the top of a building overlooking the two front lines, and everybody on the anti-Mubarak side had piles of rocks ready to hurl down onto the regime supporters. But it didn't happen. One even pointed at the pro Mubarak line and said, they're late today. There were more tanks, there were more soldiers, and there seemed to be a sense that they were doing more to keep them apart. Inside the square, less than a couple of hundred yards away, you wouldn't have even known that was happening. Thousands of people were gathered around different speakers. There were musical instruments being played. The conversation as you moved through it was all about politics. Who should go? Who should be next? What mechanisms should be put in place to decide that? As night fell, people began to leave, but the political speeches were still going on, the chanting and the singing. This is Stephen Farrell from the New York Times in Tahrir Square. I'm Helene Cooper, a White House reporter with the New York Times. The Obama administration is working on a scenario with the Egyptian government in which the U.S. is proposing that President Mubarak step down immediately and a transition government be headed by the Vice President Omar Suleiman. Uh, with the backing from the military, which would immediately begin a process of constitutional reform and an opening up of the electoral process in Egypt to the opposition members, including the Muslim Brotherhood. Mubarak is very opposed to this. He's balking, and the Egyptian government uh, hasn't exactly signed on to this uh, yet either. I spoke with one Egyptian official yesterday who was very angry, thought the Americans were uh, putting their nose in Egypt's internal affairs and should mind their own business. But at the same time, they are also the Egyptian government is very aware of what's going on on the street. So these things, uh, the the situation is unfolding daily with both sides, sort of uh, both Egypt and the Obama administration and kind of running to kind of keep up with what's going on on the streets. Whether this solution will appease the masses or whether any solution that stops short of a wholesale reg uh, resignation of everybody who's associated with Mr. Mubarak will appease the masses, American officials just don't know. I think you look at what's happening today with this very peaceful, as it turns out, day of departure protests in Egypt, and that's definitely a good thing, but I think it all depends on Mubarak and at what point he sort of decides, well, I've, I've stuck it out too long. Join us again tomorrow for Timescast.